let me ask you this, and Gary, you talked about this earlier. We all touched on it. So you've got the one, the two, and the four going down. I know we're on we're Tuesday. We have the rest of the week to play here. But look ahead and project ahead. We mentioned Gonzaga's at three. You also have Baylor at five. Who goes up to number one? I think right now, and I actually do update the rankings every single morning at CBSSports.com, so that's what I have to do when I get out of here tonight. <laughs> so who's and number I, one? It will be Gonzaga. And it's not just because they're undefeated. They're undefeated with quality wins. They have four top 50 wins. They've beaten Florida. They've beaten Arizona. And we see how good the Arizona win looks now. After without what Arizona Trier. Did. Without Trier, that's worth noting, but it's still a victory over an Arizona mm -hmm. team that's only lost twice all season, even without Trier. Um, they beat Iowa State. They beat St. Mary's. They've got quality wins. They got a zero in the loss column. They're also rated number one in the reputable computer formulas. Uh, they're a deserving top ranked team, even if I know there's going to be some pushback because people typically don't accept them as the best team in the country, even if the resume suggests they deserve a one ranking. Yeah, and the numbers point to Gonzaga as the number one, but I'm still a believer in Villanova. You know, even though they lost, I just keep going back and watching what they did last year and having the senior leadership on that team and what Josh Hart has turned into. I can't, I can't bet against Jay Wright. So when Gonzaga might be number one on paper, in our hearts, it's Villanova. <laughs> I, I, I see what you're saying with Gonzaga number one on paper, but you don't want me to have a top 20 vote. But <laughs> I would be blowing up everyone's. My number one team would be Arizona. To me, with Trier back, they're the best team in the country, hands down, after that win at UCLA. I might even put UCLA number two because they had a win at Kentucky. You look at their talent pool and who they have on their team. I might even put Oregon number three. Uh, so I go one, two, three. You just Pac love the Pac-12. Right no, 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 no. You think that Wally I was from the, the Pac-12. <laughs> and if those teams matched up against a Villanova, for example, on a neutral court, I think all three of those teams would beat them right now. Well, at least I'll say this. I really think that's how good those teams are and how well they're playing.